My name is Brian Reese, and I like to play soccer. I am talking about what we should change at school. What we should change at school are uh, the uniforms because they're ugly and fuzzy. Also, we should change the reason because the reasons because we should want it to be longer. We should do the reason longer because we could get our energy out and get tired. We should also change the tension because when I get detention, my mom gets mad. Also, I have to behave to not get detention. Also, we should change the food because sometimes they give us nasty food and we should have blackjack at school every day. This is what we should change at school. Hi, my name is Jorge. Today I'm going to be talking about my role, mo my role models. Lionel Messi is a part of my role model because he never gives up. Another one of my role, model, role models is Martin Luther King Jr. because he fought for our rights because if he didn't, some of us wouldn't be in the same class. My third role model, model is my parents because they work hard without them we will, we will be poor. My last role model is Peyton Manning because he, even though he was old, he tried hard and he won Super Bowl 50 for the Broncos and that's my role models. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Crawford. I'm 12 years old and I go to South Middle School in Benjamin, New Mexico. Do you ever wonder what it takes to be a leader? Well, I used to think that and it takes a respectful person, someone who's brave, someone who doesn't follow back and forth, and someone who fights for what's right. When you want to show people you're a good leader, you want to be respectful. When I mean respectful, I mean to listen to other people, other people's ideas, and that can lead you to a, success, a successful future. Also, it takes someone who's brave. Someone who's brave. Don't be afraid to stand up in front of a crowd. Have courage. Additionally, you can uh, you want to be not follow. If you follow someone who's bad, you will end up to not be successful. Finally, stand up for what's right, even if you're standing alone. There's many unfair events happening, happening so take a stand and be a leader. Now you can try to do that. Thanks for listening. Hi, my Audience. name is Riley and I am for Johnson Boys and Girls Club. Today I'm going to talk about who my role model is. My role model is my uncle. My uncle passed away last summer. After that, I was thinking what he had done to change my life. Then I remembered he told me never to give up on my dreams. That is important because I know if I give up, there is no accomplishing it. He also helped me do things. He played sports with me when I felt I needed to get better. My uncle gave me the best pep talk ever when I felt down. Now that he is gone, I appreciate it more. But I know all of those things he has done was for the best. It helped me make me the person I am today. I truly thank him for that. I wish to be like him. Help people when they feel low, do things for the better. And because of him, I now know I can. <laughs> Hi, my name is Justin. I yes. go to arts and science. Arts and science Casa. My role models are Michael Jordan and Barack Obama. Oprah. I like Barack Obama. He does important things. Because he changed everything and he changed everything and everything. I like Michael Jordan because he was the one that he never gave up on basketball. He sucked shooting, but he tried and tried his best to win. This, this is why Obama and Michael Jack. Michael Jordan. My name is Fatima and I'm going to talk about things that schools can improve. The first thing would be home. We already have enough work in school and in class, so why do they give us homework? And kids have to rest sometimes. The 
second thing would be, would be recess. We don't have enough recess. We don't, we don't get enough vitamin D from the sun. That can be on account for, for our body. And the last one is why do we need to wear uniforms? They are, they're, some things are very expensive and people don't afford them. These are the things that people can afford in school. And I think some of the music movements in schools would be much better. Hi, my name is Adriana Venzor. I'm from Godsman Elementary. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what it takes to be a leader. Um, the first thing is, is courage. You need to talk to many people so you need courage to, let them, to lead, them, lead them to a way. Another thing is you need to give time to your school. A leader's important job is to give, them, is, is to give time to your school wherever you are. Another important thing is um, if you're nice. If you're mean, no one will think you're a good leader. For example, Donald Trump. <laughs> Focus on trouble because it could give you bad grades and you could and you and you could set bad examples for younger kids. A second piece of advice is not to get into drama. If you do, it just gets worse in the higher grades. A last is don't miss a lot of don't miss a lot of school. It can affect your school grades and 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 hurt your education. If you do catch up on that missed out school work. My role model is my mom and dad, and my son is a because he talks a little bit more. But now, someone wants to make all the Hispanic people back to my school, which I'm sad because lots of people thought, lots of people thought what's right, and like Dr. Jackie Robinson she had to walk past a few miles and Michelle Obama used some goals to 
other countries to talk and to try to convince people that they're Okay.